as expected, they, as I said, they did not pick Visage to win a lane against Gunka. Courier has been killed. I did his job. And to deliver the bottle. Top lane, no tail dropping low. He's dead. Ow. <laughs> Nicely styled. Kicked him back to make sure the rolling boulder would uh, get him far enough away. Spy Carapace, no follow up stun from the next assassin. Would wait, but mind control. X mark, torrent, combination. Easily executed here from OG. As they're doing the prep fight for the 10 minute outpost. No tail. Way too caught out. And but on bottom lane, lane. RP. Ugh, that's not gonna keep him alive. Nope. Except you could. <laughs> no matter. <laughs> but now the rest of Nigma's coming in. They have the outpost right next to where this fight was going. And Saxa will be the punching bag. Surrounded Save. by Necro books. Say and... it. Space created. Every single time Saxa dies. You said it. Smoke. <laughs> Thanks for putting words in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, we's going pretty deep now on Seb. But you don't want to fight this if you're OG. Boat's currently down, Seb's not ready to initiate yet, doesn't have the Blink Dagger up and running. Enigma, they're the ones playing the OG style. Smoke up, rolling boulder forward because the creep's already dead. He gets a connection over on Kunkka and it's just chain control into mid one. But mid one, he's still got 10 one charges available, doesn't actually burn them. The RP, it will now arrive, pulling back underneath the tier two tower, but it's a lichen and a bird. That's all you managed to claim. Huge fight here from Enigma. OG are trying to set a trap around the T1 tower on top lane. The Radiant Creep Wave already took it. Sentry Ward comes down. Bakura, it's a little too late for him. A kick from GH just tries to give a little extra slow. Maybe it will be enough with Raindrop and Wand. The life is still inside of Kuro. Weeha's nearby, but X marks the spot. Ship Torrent, everything they've got with the boat included. Flies over the top of OG. Everyone's drunk and the Dominator Creep gets the sun over on Weeha. He doesn't have the life to get up. Now the Eclipse turns on from Samel. They've cleaned up the wave. And that's a maximum effectiveness eclipse. Pugna's having a hard time getting out there. The shockwave and the creeps, they body block him in. So he can't go anywhere. And the loosened beam from Samael uh, gives him his third kill. Also, they need Luna to hit level 12. Three extra beam charges could change things a bit. Even though there's a ton of summons, necrobook units, wolves, birds. Bottom. Luna won't be using it straight away. Very simple pick off here on GH. Clumsy net also available. And GH rolling boulder away. Kura creates just enough space. The urn, it weren't ticking up. You went down to 100, but you're underneath that dire outpost. Once again, the ship flies forward. And Kanka, that run time, he's got 21 charges available too. Turns around, gets rid of the quick centaur. Spy Carapace also trying to create a little bit more space. But the There's RP! The RP. Seb, his three, but where's the follow up? Finally, you get the eclipse out and pulling him underneath the tower. Nigma boldly going where they never wanted to go before. And the centaur stuns no tell. My god, this man is a god. Too many gods. Kuro now begins his own TP out. Someone got a stun? Yeah, you do. Sucks has got one just off cooldown, freshly there. And Visage, the only survivor of Nigma, gets away. Rough. Catapult wave with Samael. And the Alpha Wolf behind him. He's got a little bit more safer. Good ice path from Jakuro. Stunned up by the Spike Carapace for half a second. And the Visage birds, they're out and about. Stunned up a little bit. They're not getting cleaned off as fast as uh, Samael would really like them to. But now X marks the ship. Here we go with a combo. Weeha pulled straight back in. The Crepe Fire for Mind Control tries to buy more space and the extra life, but the loose and beams come There's in and the then they go again with Seb. He can't get the skewer out, but the RP onto, Kuro, onto Kuro and Miracle. Was Miracle down without buyback available and the catapult wave is still here. We're 21 and a half minutes in, we're going up. Gold swing in the last minute. Full and Mind Control dead. They are not going to let him out of here. Spirit Vessel, you can't drain through that. Samael with the three kills, and now the Glaives will just start to bounce through everything. Well, Toby, I believe this game is over. You know, Nigma, they have one more fight to try. Yeah, one more. Nortel will get rid of the OBS, and there goes the aggressive vision from Nigma. Nice wrap around from Saxa, and he just body blocks out the rolling. The rolling boulder of GH. Easy chain stuns. Spirit Vessel charges out. Blocks him. Can't go time. again, and they just let him tick.
balance in all things. Miracle triggers off the Necro books. Rolling Boulder's gonna miss actually, and Saxa controls GH in the back line. Snowtail needs to get the spray off, but he can't heal fast enough for this one. Seb also not feeling like this is the place to be. Maybe now look at Nigma just split as the BKB triggers off from Seb. Can't say the same here from Rotel, but Seb's waiting for the Blink RP. Now, he'll get it off. He mainly takes the army off the like, but if they can kill Miracle off, that'll be a huge thing. He did get the Spirit Vessel on him, so he's not feeling like he wants to keep the fight going. Kuro as well, isolated inside the river. Netherward is down from Mind Control. Buy some extra time for Kuro to get some space back out. Seb has finally gone down. Buybacks are coming in from Jakiro. Tamel's gonna finish the job finally over on GH, but it's this never-ending survival of Nortown cool. that will finally end, but Visage will become the new target. Kunkka, only now does he have to burn the BKB, chasing Weehar into the trees. My Control will buy some extra bit of space thanks to Decrepify. So even if mid one did find him, he wouldn't find Still the kill. holding the ulti, clearing the creep wave first. Yep, she also needs it so she can get a life back to stand in the fight. And now it's time to let it go. The Eclipse, Kuro, and Visage both gonna get mopped up. Mind Control's on the run. Mid one keeps the information on him. Bring him back and put him down with the torrent. <laughs> well, Cal's gone. And now we'll Start see how the fight goes. Lycan's still holding the shape shifts. They don't have Jakura for 18 seconds. Maybe they feel like they need Kuro stunned or just Kuro's leadership. Decrepify buys a little bit of extra time, but there's no opening they can see. Seb just spider-legging his way in, looking for a target. OG, I feel like they're grouping up just to entice Nigma to come a little bit closer. And there's your shapeshift. There's your start from GH. Maybe it will be enough of initiation. You already cracked the Luna with the Aegis Immortal, but Kunkka triggers the BKB. Luna will come back up as well. Caught in the middle of the ice path of Kuro. The chain control is going to be there. Samal trying to back himself up. He's already burned the Satanic. Maybe with the hits. No, oh, there's Seb. He's able to get the skewer back, but who's left to do the damage output? Oh, they decrepified one after the other. Mind control not letting anybody attack. You don't need a help but you just need a mind control. Now Seb's in trouble. The blast, the drain, caught by the ice path. Nigma knew they needed a stun after Luna died. And they are. I know what they need to find. Kanka is not there. Doxa, he's going to be tanking the gank once again. He's done this time and time again to protect Samael, but now Samael, the rolling boulder, GH comes in a long way, he goes in again for the second hit. They'll kick him back into the Weeha Birds, the double stuns. He's dying so quickly, now Samael will finally get the BKB off and Satan. trigger the Satanic, so life will come back up. As quickly as possible, getting rid of Birds, getting rid of Necro Books, if, if they're Lycan, runs back in again. Now Miracle will burn his own BKB. He enchanted up an x mark spot, won't drag him back, but the boat ship combo, Weeha, as well as GH, they get their distance, but GH forced to walk into the rest of OG. Seb hits the RP, he got the target he wanted, he got the Lycan with no BKB. A full moon falls on Miracle's head. And Kuro falls against Samael. Nigma. now they're the ones in, in retreat and 64 seconds without the like, without their big abilities. They were coming back. This is what they needed. Now they're in trouble. Luna with the BKB so that she can stand her ground and take a fight. Also uses Satanic, there's going to be a lot of bounces and uh, the heal. So she has an extra life. Seth. Next Roche, may respawn in two minutes. Yeah, she got Wii. The blink and pull back with Skewer. Skewer plus Ederlands. Man, Seb is uh, from another they're planet. They're ending now. They just want this over and done with. The shapeshift is off cooldown. Same with all the ultis of, uh, of Nygma. They are ready to fight this, and we'll see who's got more. With the top lane pressuring in, the mid lane pressuring in, Nygma. They're going to find their resource getting a little bit split to keep the defense up, and Samael's the frontliner. Here's your rolling boulder once again. Great kickback. Samael going in deep. Breaks free with the mana style. Needs to get that BKB off, and now BKB Satanic back up to full life for the Luna. Meanwhile, the ES in the back lines did get picked up, but buybacks available from GH, and they're going for another one. Another rolling boulder fall, but Nyx oh, Assassin, he body blocks it with the spike character. Sucks will lose his life for it, but it won't matter if Samael's only can do his work. Lycan, still the big problem. There's now the skewer, and Lycan... Well, he may be a problem, but only a problem by himself if the supports keep dying like this. Kuro skewered back by Seb. He, he already burnt the RP beforehand. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Seb, perfect skewer back once again. He doesn't even need the RP. Weeha summons a whole bunch of new bursts, but he's dead for 100 seconds. And that bounces real damn fast on the Glaives. 
As fast as this game can now be called GG. This game could have ended uh, a lot earlier if OG just didn't decide to run high ground with the three heroes. We better bounce so, from one to the other. The boar sitting underneath the dire observer ward. My control lost his courier on top to no tell. So Mail's getting a lot of levels on the bottom lane. He's already level five, <laughs> while Miracle is about to hit level four. That's a lot of damage. He might be dead. He's dead, actually. Yeah. Doctor spills the first blood. All around the fine bit of bounty time. Phoenix, however, can't Icarus dive out of here. And uh, Samel is trying to buy as much, well, intimidation power as possible. Phoenix Great. just getting levels on the top lane. Invoker, he got the perfect uh, item for him. Uh, 10 intelligence, 3 armor. I know Seb's got a lot of ones, uh, one charges and 3 points up in Dragon Blood, but this is still a little risky. EMP Tornado. It's gonna catch three heroes. The snowball trying to save him. We is out of mana. Got a couple of one charges. Seb moves away. Icarus dive forward. Soxa still not level six just yet, but he gets the sprites alive. out and they're focusing on we. Mid one will have to hide inside the ghost walk. Before poison stacks, mid one tries to walk into the sun race to get some more life. And now we have that cold embrace. More time for Nortel to begin his own rotation in. Mid one will finally tick down to Weeha, but into the egg. He didn't get any sprites off. That's the easiest supernova dispel ever. And now Samel will need to do his own work. Boundless strike forward, focusing on the GH. He's got the extra support to do it in the form of Seb, but the double searing chains from Miracle creates just enough space. Yeah. Invoker <laughs> needs catch up time. Phase boots. That's it. He's, he's thinking realistically. Seb trying to keep the wave off the tier 1 tower. There's a catapult wave. Enchantress will also arrive. They get the pick up and throw down over on Viper. Burn as much mana as they can. Combining with the cold snap. Even now with the fire spirits. But the curse is out. It goes on Monkey King. But Enchantress keeps her distance. It's only Seb attacking in to Monkey King. But he'll still tick out. There's a great supernova. The stun actually connects. Now onto the sunray. Tuscar protected by the cold embrace. But snowballs forward. He'll head over towards Seb. He's kind of stuck in the river, so stuns can work the way of Nygma, but the breathe fire is better. GH dies, and actually having a little bit of trouble getting around that melee creep. Necrophos, very far on the front lines. Another EMP tornado going to go to work. Burns all the matter of mind control, a miracle. But they're still alive, and they're back underneath their tower, and this was a 5v5 fight in that mid-river. Mm -hmm. And he's Double gonna be dead for a very long time. Observer sentries give a lot of information towards OG. Kuro's waiting in the back lines. Can they actually find him? Wyvern takes to the skies. Fresh observer was being planted down. They can't go on mind control. They kind of need to actually go over on the winter Wyvern. And that's the one they're able to find. A Perfect quick jump for the Reaper Scythe will go to work. Enchantress gets deleted, but there's your buyback on your fine position. The way you play it, space being created. As Kuro puts down the Winter Wyvern only, but Monkey King looking for all of the life back again, gets the Wukong's command out, but dies just as it explodes out. Supernova, gonna get the sun onto Ember Spirit. No, it can't, it's all out of range. But Icarus dive forward, and Seb needs to come back in. That's a a good breathe fire, and with a deafening blast, they're stuck inside the sun ray of Phoenix. So GH will fall, but chain after chain coming the way of Nigma, forcing another core of OG to fall. This is what happens when Toontown hits the dragon. GH, they are going on Enchantress. Snowball under, Necrophos sticks with him, and they break him so quickly, and then the Reaper's side. Goodbye, one minute on the sideline. Support is coming in. Samel will go for the quick jump into the Wukong's command. Gets the boundless strike out, doesn't hit the targets he's really hoping for, because Weehar got pushed away, but he will still die. A big kill to claim, it goes the way of Soxa. BKB faster. On he just used there. Snowball. Kuro is waiting around behind him. The Vel comes out. They're burning out GH. Kuro knows that his ultimate can't create that space with the Tornado from mid one. Didn't connect on GH the way he wanted to. And now Necro will come in for the Reaper's Scythe. Goodbye mid one. But maybe there's the damage from Samael. It's a great Wukong's command combining with the Supernova. They're keeping Necro right on the edge of the Wukong's. Now buyback coming in from Wyvern. Doesn't have his ulti. Seb. Sentries down from both sides BKB's as the Glimmer ready. Cape trying to get Seb out of range. As you said, the BKB is up and running, so if Nigma want to try and fight this one, they may regret it. But everyone's backing up for runes. Mid one is just, you know, a threat right now. Okay, he's Invoker, we need to kill him. But uh, he doesn't do that much. I think Nigma needs to prioritize to try to grab Monkey King if possible. But then again, if you... Go on Monkey, 
Invoker gets his spells off, Tornado, EM bomb. We're gonna be either without mana or whole fight cancelled. V's gonna die. Yeah, this is meant to be a team game, but he's down there by himself. Have I a look. I want to check how low Roche is. Do I need to buy back or not? Samael's rage is the Wukong around. Just keep spamming. Yep. EMP well, Tornado. Samael's right in the middle of him. If he triggers the Wukong now, bound the strike. He jumps down, focusing over on the Necrophos with the BKB. Gershra will end up canceling that off. Tuska. Oh, good curse. Winter Wyvern canceling the Wukong's command. I say it's a good curse. What did you really get from it? You got to kill over on the task guard. Now Reaper Scythe, Dragon Knight put down. No buyback for him, and he's dead for a very long time. Big disengage coming from OG, or do they try and fight around this hillside? Now Wukong's out again from Samel. The Boundless Strike, it's on the That's Winter Wyvern said. in the back line, so at least he can kill him. The Supernova, real issues for Enigma to get away in time. They turn on the Sunray, and now Viper trying to battle under his own nether post, but that won't work. A miracle, he's so low on life and mana. One more attack from Samel would probably do it. GH is keeping him free, and then Miracle can hit him with a slide of fist. RG buying He's back at least onto the Enchantress. Even fight with these two heroes only. Uh, Phoenix isn't going to help out. No. Dust is still there from GH back under the tier 2 tower. He's trapped. They're all actually quite terrible at attacking. Snowball over. They go towards the Phoenix. They had to turn off the sun. And Socks are trying to get back to the tier 2 tower. That won't work. And we're clumsy netting all up again. Glimmer Cape will protect no telling. Makes a break for the tree line. Enigma covering all the angles and a double kill for Miracle. Strike, strike, strike. Jumping forward. Samael starts the Boundless Strike over on the Viper. Icarus dive forward into the Supernova. Everyone's a little bit too far away from Nigma, but maybe Kuro as well as Weeha can work together. The Cold Embrace keeps Viper alive. Samonga can't finish the job, but he's battling inside the Wukong's command. Snowball save is there as well as the Curse to create a little bit extra space, but the battling is his Aghanim Scepter. Samael, he needs one more hit. Boundless Strike off Kuro and in one second time, that's when they need the extra silence too. He's lining up. Who cares about the Spirit Vessel if he can just get the damage out, but he can't even do that. Cold Embrace after Cold Embrace from Kuro. Creates the space required for Enigma, and now you're going to lose Seb too. All five heroes from OG pushing up the daisies. Enigma, that is the fight they wanted. Four heroes inside of Wukong's, and they still survive. <laughs> Jump forward, GH. Uh, not exactly certain what he was going on there, apart from a couple of fakes. Samel just played it through the tree lines. He is trying to make sure that Tusker has no influence in this fight, but Samel walks out of his Wukong to look for the fight. He's no, he's bound so far away, the wrong direction. Supernova is being battled down. Wyvern, not actually there to help out, so the Supernova will it. come off in time, and Samel is able to turn around and get this fight, combining with the Sunray GH. He's burning inside the cold embrace. It's a bit of a waste of a curse, as Samael was able to tank through all of it, and now he's ready to fight once again. Slams down the wave. It's still a two-for-two two trade-off, and Samael, he's kicking for the moment. Necro will be the bigger one, but Wyvern, he is just the medic. He's the mash unit. He's Hawkeye from range making sure that everyone is safe and chop it out. No tail, a little bit of space gets created for him thanks to the deafening blast, but now mid one becomes public enemy number one. Another spirit vessel charge, one after the other. And that feels like a GG calling coming right now. No tail's trapped against the tree line. Slight is ready. Nigma are ready to win. There is Rampage. Line. There it is. Whew. He's still oh. chasing GH. Base is dying, he needs to go back. That he does. Doesn't have a TP. That's problematic. And this game's over. We are uh, is hitting into the radiation. I've been saying this for a while, but OG, they're fighting until the last man. No tower gets killed off once again, just always being broken by this Viper. And now Samel will arrive. BKB walks through the entire Enigma. They are just gatekeeping the Radiant base. Mind control. Well, he can shroud up and buy, buy a little bit more time for himself to live. The Creep Wave will now hit the Ancient. Enigma, they're camping inside the base of OG into the fountain. I'm rather interested, interested to see if he's able to be the same type of influence. It'd be obviously a very different influence. This would be an aggressive style. Mid lane. Yes, at uh, mid one. He's back to the Tower Dragon Blood up, but now he's also really in trouble. Miracle's got some damage, but is it still going to be enough? Mid one's back under the tower, and he had enough. He'll die to the tower, or will he fairy fire and salving back up? It's a very few games where 10 minutes in, no one is on bottom lane. But they can kill top lane. Oh, Pango, that's nicely baited. 
He saw the Rolling Thunder, got ruptured, got pulled back out again, and then Seb could follow up with the Arrow Stun. Dragon Town level 1 does that work for you. And they want this fight on bottom. Moonlight Shadow's already been burnt, but Black Hole is up. Rupture. Used on Enigma. He moves to the back lines, and then he just lets the Black Hole go, but he oh, gave it Black over Hole. to GH. The arrow again will whiff. Lion. Well, at least he got rid of the Observer. Well, Dragon Tail's done a little too, too far away. Extra Kuro creates a little bit more space, and now the Stolen Black Hole! Stolen GH, Black Hole. have they got some extra help? Kuro, he's holding the Finger of Death. I think he's hoping for the bonuses from this. He'll get himself a double stun, but now he's also way too close to the rest of the team. A Fissure from Mind Control, it'll create some space. Kuro still trying to play the game under the Tier 1 tower. They'll go a little bit further. Dragon Tail stun from Mid 1, making sure Pango is safe. Echo Slam finally comes in from Mind Control. Seb and Mid 1 cop a hell of a lot of damage, and finally Mid 1 will be brought down with Miracle. Ball Lightning forward Weeha on speed at the moment. He'll end up killing off Seb. In fact, it's Mind Control who will claim that one. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Now the that the, this done. Weeha, perfect arrow follow up once again. Long duration stuns, but the fissure? Maybe from Mind Control's created it. No, it hasn't. Seb holds him in place with a rod of Atos. I think he wanted to save that for a rainy day. Nakuro also on the run, another blink off cooldown. Another stun. For DK, another into arrow. the arrow. <laughs> Soul Spirit looking for initiation. Miracle under the cover of Smurf's got a pretty damn big one. Enigma with no BKB, he's been so close to this. Hey, plus one charge. Arrow flies forward. Whoop! Stone Spirit, quick jump away. He'll be okay. Can't say the same for mid one. Ruptured up, can't walk out this one. Now you're a curse damage right. from my control. He's been waiting forever to use his abilities and finally he does. Three euros drop, make it four. A triple kill for Weeha and into Roshan we go. Like even if you get a Scardi after this, like, oh, that's great. Rod of Atos, Kuro, most definitely wrecked, but DK underneath an Observer Sentry just tossed around. You do not go on the captain of Team Nigma. They're trying to bail out this one, but a BKB, the stun from Kuro. It reaches mid one. There's another finger, but the song from GH is stolen. It's not letting them finish and give Kuro his charge. Finally, mid one will go down, but they catch the bigger hero. It's Samael. He'll manta, he'll try and dodge, but he will try and not succeed. The die. The death is there for OG's two big cores. Dragon Tail stun. There you go. We have now triggers BKB. Rupture and Pango. It's just not his day. The Black Hole's great from No Tail. Letting Samal just Damn, stand his there. ground and kill off Miracle. An isolated Storm Spirit caught inside of a Black Hole. That sounds like a dream. And Bloodseeker. This seems like a nightmare for him. His own blood right will not create any kind of space. The Fancel Blade, that. Well, that arrow was a little too early. GH, I think he's going to try and cliff the Pangolier. That doesn't really help him, however, and everyone else. Echo Slam! My control! He connects on three! GH going to get a little extra space. Sorcerer is TPing in for the moment, but who do you go on? He's looking to Seb, but the song on the siren. Samel is going to recept this. Where is the rest of Nigma? They turn off the arrow, but Miracle is the BKB in time. Now Weeha will arrive, looking for his own target. And it's Naga Siren on the front lines, but do they have enough with the brief fire connecting? The damage is, is quite negligible. Weeha, the finger of death, Kuro will be there to get that final little seal with the finger. Rupture's also going to work and Saksa will actually have to, well, he'll almost kill himself. Weeha needs to finish the job and then look for another fight once again. Lion, maybe not so much. He's going to shovel. He's going to bounty. That is efficiency at its finest. 3-8-0 to 3-6-9 movement speed. Um, Miracle? He doesn't have BKP. Uh, and he doesn't have HP. And he doesn't have buyback. Samael, DK, frontliners, BKB's gonna come off, Rod of Atos fight sport, Miracle with a quick dodge, the finger, they've already killed mid one. Who do you wanna go on? Mid one will buy it back. You've got the Rubik, you've got the Storm Spirit, but have you got the game? You're gonna bring down the Storm? No, because the Blood Stone charges off, and the BKB, space has been created, Rubik will buy it back. Money has fixed the support problem. And Enigma has no way out to oh, safety, or oh, does he? The Moonlight Shadow, he's got some distance, but the Fissure will finish him off. The Black Hole is stolen, but Dragon Knight, he's not actually in that. Um, the wings were not wide enough. And now his Mind Control is who, who's in trouble. Economical price. Oh, nice blink. Real, real quick. Hide in the trees. Just, HY, HY wasn't totally right, but he was right for at least half a second. Not getting control of anything, even a Minotaur horn for the DK. That's the dream. Also catching out Storm Spirit. 
This definitely feels like a little bit of bait from Miracle. He needs to get the hell out of here. The Echo Slam finally comes in from Mind Control. Mid one's put down, and the damage output from Weeha starts to escalate very quickly as Storm's able to ball lightning away to safety. Did anyone bring detection? They see the Naga Yules up and towards the air. The follow up's done. More centers from Kuro. The black hole from Nerds up and is stolen by GH and returned only into Enigma. But that'll still work. As Miracle can keep the rampage going forward over towards the male. And now we'll really put all that tankiness to the test. The arrow easily dodged by Miracle under the blood right. They break the egg as the immortal. And Seb, he wants to help out somehow. But what do you do? Distraction? Arrows? You're keeping some out. good control over on Miracle, Somehow. but Samael, the finger of death, they get the bonus damage, they're draining the mana, and they bring down the raid boss. Samael is gone, the ball lightning forward, someone has to have a stun, but no one's got any stuns. So they use it all on the Naga Siren. Sentry War gets planted, he quickly attacks Samael and then blinks away to safety while Weeha. The jump comes forward, the arrow well off target. And mid one, not getting the target he really wanted. Now BKB once again from Nortel. He doesn't find a black hole to really get off. In fact, they're just chipping through his HP. You have all the black holes in the world, but if you can't even get it off, what do you have? Song of the Siren from Samal. Arrow flies in, but it's too early. Stolen, and then Song of the Siren from GH gets stolen. And they reset up. Sox is just going to kill himself. He had no other choice. He's just rolling in. And all the BKBs burning out. Samal, he's got a lot more to stand here. Killing off Weeha, ending that killing spree. Moving his attention over towards GH. Working with Seb to get these chain stuns and controls to work. As the tier 3 tower will fall. That's two tier 3 towers down. Anaga. Oh, that's the real one. They know it too. Rubik gets the, the drag back. This is a long way. Points of the tier 4 towers. Another two hero fissures. Samal. Still holding Manta, still holding the Aegis. So he's not the target they want. But they're losing the melee rack. Stigma has to do something. It looks like it's OG's turn. The arrow flies in. Kuro dead quickly. No buyback for him available. No buyback on him. And Storm still trying to clean up these waves. But the rack has been taken. The mid wave is already in. So OG will rotate. And mind control. When is the moment? Dragon Tail stun once again. This time it's Weeha being caught out. The perfect chain stun, but he'll get his BKB off and running. But no, the Rolling Thunder, they go straight through him. He's got no buyback either. That's game, Toby. I, I don't think they can come back from this. They just want to fight without um, even using those black oh, holes. There's initiation. Arrow, they won't get to use it. <laughs> Nigma is dead. Buyback's available. He'll come back out to the outpost. Now Mind Control hits a three-man Echo Slam, but the damage is negated. He's playing. Black hole. It's on absolutely nothing. He was it's hoping to catch the Storm Spirit mid-jump, but that's the game. OG will 2-1.